Oh my god, if you can see all the traffic, this traffic is too much, la, you know. This is all the way to 7 mile bazaar, this traffic. So you can see, uh, we are just trying to get out of this traffic jam. But going to Kota Smurahan is also jam. Using 10 mile is also jam. So what have flyover do? Nothing have changed. Fly over all over the place but nothing has changed. You see? So this is not because of any bottleneck whatsoever. This is just behind the seven mile all road road. Yeah, this one is where the graves are. The graves are. So look at the traffic. It's all until the next roundabout. <laughs> the 10 mile roundabout. So that everybody know that ini sudah jadi tempat orang gila. Orang stuck sini. Every day now it's already 9:30. Uh, now it's 9:30. People are still stuck in the jam at 9:30. So what can you say? Uh, people can. Some of them are late, but they got no choice but stuck in the car. Maybe See, once they reach the office, they have to do. Finish the hours until night. This is the next roundabout. Uh, this is. Tengok sampai sini, berapa kilometer tu lah? That is the roundabout. So, apa mau cakap? Ini orang bau cakap. Apa macam ini macam? Esok rusa pun macam ini. Betul betul macam punya traffic jam ini macam. Mister Bang, I want to your comments uh, just now regarding the jam that we are facing now. Oh, the gym is very horrible. We just managed to now on the way to Puncak Ponyo. Okay, we avoid going to Puching. You know, Nasib we have things going on elsewhere outside Puching. If not, Kepala Pusing. Aduh. Imagine if we are, we have to be stuck in that 7 mile jam, it will go to 5 mile, 3rd mile. Aduh. Memang. Your whole day will be wasted, you know. I, not not for me, not for me. I have, I try to avoid the jam. I'm running away from the jam in KL just to have a peace of mind. Going back to the kampong, and you ask me to be stuck in this jam, huh? I rather build my house in the kampong. If I want, I want jam. I go down to KL. I fly down to KL every month. You know that to be stuck in the jam like that, okay. it's like too much for me. I don't like the stress. Okay, that's it. What, what? Uh, that is what must have been said, lah. But anyway, we will sit again and we'll chat, chat, get coffee later, lah. Yeah, we will because, to put up on you, yeah. relax. Because now, as I said, the car is bumpy. Yeah. The road is very bumpy, yes, bumpy. Yes, yes, so yes, my yes, video yes. is shaking. Yes, okay, yes, see yes. you later. One hour later. Okay, balik ke topik pasal. Uh, Traffic jam tadi ya, saya nak tanya pendapat ini Tuan Bak Lim Rimba nih, Tuan Bos dari KL nih. So apa cerita pasal traffic jam yang hari-hari kita lalui, hari-hari kita tempoh sampai pagi tadi berapa dah sampai lebih satu jam dekat jalan raya. <laughs> Oke, okay, macam mana? How you improve it? How, how the government? Uh, I mean, uh, give idea kalau government dapat improve ya. I think we have to do traffic survey first, okay? I, tra traffic survey is the key to understand, you know, why there are traffic jam. So, building roads, flyover, will not solve it. You So, we, we, we see all the traffic jam in all the different parts of the country. You have to, like... You have to control control the city area, meaning at, at work hours, you cannot have traffic flow going to the city. They have to use alternative transport. They can only go to, like, you designate a certain area around the city. Let's say, three miles radius within the city, eh? uh, no traffic jam. How to avoid it, no traffic jam? First, we have to increase parking meaning if you want to bring your car into Kuching city you increase parking to to 15 dollars an hour 
so something like that. So that will prevent people from going to the city unless they have something urgent. So they are willing to pay the price to go into the city. This is also a good way to increase revenue for the municipal council within Kuching, Kuching City, for example. So people will park their car in 10 miles. Okay, they will pull their car instead to go down to Kuching yeah, to save money. The best is they also introduce more public transport. Tra public transport will be there if there is demand for public transport. You see, they, it's not you introduce public transport, but there is no demand. First, you have to cut down the flow of traffic going into Kuching. Then you can have all kind of transport going to Kuching. You can have bus, you can have taxi, you can have grab. Yeah. Going there, but not going inside the inside the three miles radius of Kuching. So that will be a good way to stop the thing. And also, I think to me, they need a certain certain time that they are, like for example, cars. Uh, if they only one or two person inside the car, then I think uh, they don't allow to go inside, like Singapore, yeah. like that. Yeah. So in Singapore, in certain areas, yeah, Singapore, they, they have, not they allow have. to have. One mm -hmm. at a time. Yes, this is what people call proactive measures, you know, to stop traffic jam. You know, so it's not about just widen, widening the road, which is good, but it's also to curb, to stop the traffic flow going there. But, you know? but inside the town itself, in the city itself, there's not much jam except the radius between uh, like Seven Mile, Kota Sembrahan, or Jalan Matang area, or Jalan Batu Kawa area. These are the the area that always uh, got uh, jam, you know, not 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 all the not 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 really in the city. The city itself doesn't have jam actually, but right now, I notice only only on the outskirts. You see, uh, that's why we have Ministry of Transport, which is good. Now, two Bidaya are Deputy Minister of Transport now. I mean, under Lee Kim Shin. First is our Dato Andrew Jinep. Second is our Dato Dr. Jirip. So I think this subject matter calls for measures. Measures whereby, you know, we designate the area. Because if we were to increase the size of roads going to Kuching, there's no space already. The space, the jam, the parking problem are all caused by extra traffic flow going to the city. So if we can cut the flow of traffic going into the city, it would be a good idea. I think we have been uh, facing this uh, problem for the past uh, few years. Now because I, I'm staying at Seven Mao. If I wanted to go and send my children to school now, I could start my journey around 5 o'clock, you know. And it is... Uh, even five by five o'clock also the road is already considered already packed with all the vehicles. You see, uh, my my parents are in Matang, mm. okay, Hengguan Garden. So if if they were to send my nephew and nieces to St. Mary's or St. Thomas, they are too old to suffer from the jam. So what happens is they send them to school nearby, mm. which is easier and faster. So I think that's another way Schools should be either the school should be moved elsewhere, or the school. You know, those parents should think of sending their children to school nearby their houses in, instead of traveling. This is causing a lot of uh, inconvenience to so many people. I think we have to start to rethink the whole thing. That's how I look at it. Like so. Yeah, like my area there, uh, uh, Samarahan area. I think that is already considered terrible because now they are building the road, construct the road. So the jam over there is very heavy. So not like uh, before. You see, these two years I noticed that the jam is terrible. Horrible. Uh, it's horrible, very, horrible. Yeah. very horrible. You know, people. I was told that people from Syrian those in Tai who comes to work in Kota Samarahan and everything. They have to come very early because Kota Sumahan jam is even worse. Yeah, it's worse. You yeah. know, it, it worse. I remember when I was with Naim, we started Kota Sumahan last time. Nobody wants to go there. You know, now you look at the place, it's like 
you know, yeah, it's really the, packed. The development in Kota Semarang is very really tremendous. Uh, the, the, the number of population there increase a lot. Yeah, that, that's why I think if you talk about ART, you know, which travels on the road, you know, it's not going to solve traffic jam. Lah. We have to go up LRT, you know, we have to go up. Uh, then within the city, we are up, but when we go outskirts of the city, we can go down. So that's the only way forward. Uh, we will uh, get better road. Sarawak lah, because uh, once the flyover is completed, once the Marahan Road is completed, it is the situation. Mm -hmm. okay, don't forget to like, share, and comment on our video channel. Yeah. Uh, Forest Rangers channel, yeah? Yeah, thank you, thank, thank you, you. Thank you for viewing our channel. Yes. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. We are and also subscribe. Camel Cafe at Puncak Borneo now, just to have our cup of coffee, because we don't want to be stuck in the Kuching Jam. So we come here to enjoy our serve, no traffic jam. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's why we should stay in Ascot. Huh? Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye.